today I'm going to be working on the server again. I actually built this before I started making these videos. Um, but I have done a couple videos on the server. Um, one of the last videos, I believe, was when I added um, new hard drives. So I brought it up to 105 terabytes. Um, today I'm going to try to address an issue with um, one, sometimes two, of those hard drives disconnecting. So what I want to do is replace, I have two of these SATA expansion cards that you see here. And I'll show you under here. So I have two four port cards in the system currently. Um, I'm not sure if that's what the problem is because usually only one of the drives disconnects but sometimes too. And what I have to do is I have to shut down the system. I can't restart, I, it doesn't work. You have to shut the system down. Um, you might have guessed by watching these videos if you've watched any of my previous videos. I'm not pro. Um, I do like to work on tech stuff. I try to do it on a budget. And the only reason I'm gonna replace these today is because I have found a use for the other two cards and two other systems I'm going to build. So because this system has 12 drives in it, I have six plugged into the board and this is a six port. I don't really need the extra two ports and I, there's no need to use two cards. I could have got a bigger SATA card, um, but it's pretty much maxed out and I really don't want to add any more cards or any more drives though I will be um, upgrading some of the drives to higher capacity in the future so what we're going to do is I'm going to switch over and show you the two cards that are in the system and then I'm going to swap those two out and replace it with one Hopefully that's going to fix the issue. If it doesn't, uh, we'll have to continue to um, investigate, see what's going on. More troubleshooting. So let's just start by flipping over here. And we're going to look down in here and you're going to see one of the cards here beside the graphics card and the other card over here. So hopefully I won't have to do anything on the back side. I can just pull these two out and drop the new one in now there's one thing I'm not sure about yet and that is when I pull these out and switch graph or switch the cards how's that going to affect the mapping um, I don't know if the system is going to recognize the drives with the same letters and all of that, which is going to be very important because I have this um, these drives all mapped on several other computers. So throughout the office here and throughout the house, there are other computers that have maps to mapped that are mapped to these drives. So I did of course take a screenshot and determine, you know, or to ensure I know where all the drives are, what the letters are and everything. So I can rename the drives, give them their old letters back, all of that stuff, but Hopefully, we don't have to do that. So, there's one of them. So, they're pretty handy. Got four ports on the back. Um, I will be using at least one of those in another system. So, yeah. There's the other one. So, now, we're just going to try to get this all plugged back in and it looks like it should work okay we're just going to plug them into the nearest convenient spot I'm going to think go to the bottom with these 
and the reason for that is it looks pretty tight. I don't know how much I got on the back of here. So we're just going to go to the bottom and hopefully that'll give me just enough. The reason these SATAs are all so tight is cable management because this server is on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, I'm trying to keep everything nice and clean and tight in here. Um, as you can see, I didn't leave a lot of slack in these cables. So, yeah, this is how you install or replace a SATA card. Now, I could and maybe should go ahead and switch this because it was in a PCI um, by times one, uh, X. Uh, so the blue one here is a four. So that might be a better choice. So I'm just going to put it in that one. That might help with the that might help with the cable and it'll give it a little bit more speed and the cables will fit better there because the link. So we're just gonna make sure we got it we got it in there really nice. Feels a little weird. Like it's not too tight. You well, know, I'm going to check that again. Because that doesn't feel too tight. Feels like something's holding it. There you go. And that's why it's always important to really check those out. I wonder if I never had it down in there good and it, that's why it was disconnecting. But that wouldn't make sense. There were two drives on that. And usually only one drive was having an issue. But you really never know. So... There you go. Now we got all the drives here on one SATA card. I, I've often worried that because I have the two cards in there, that somehow there was some kind of conflict going on and they were fighting each other and who knows. Computers are so weird sometimes and troubleshooting can be a nightmare. But hopefully... This will fix the issue. Um, I may add a little bit of commentary on the end of this video. Um, if I see anything before I post the video that so tells me, hey, you know, it's working or it's not. But that's how you do it. Just drop them in. Um, I will just comment again that if you have a PCIe 4, that's going to be better. So um, this one is a PCIe 4. The graphics card is in a PCIe 16. Um, I could put the graphics card in the 4 because this is a server and put the um, SATA in the 16. And that might actually, you know, give it a slight boost. Um, the only reason I'm not worried about that is the 4 is going to be good enough because I don't have to transfer the data at like some super high speed. Um, I've found that it's the data transfer has been pretty good and some of those drives were actually on the PCIe 1 so and the data transfer was still pretty decent because 
I'm only running a gigabit network, so there's a limit to how fast things can go anyway. Well, on our old hard drives and uh, and uh, gigabit network, you're not going to go too fast. And I usually just set it and forget it, or I'm using a backup program that does it automatically. And so how fast it goes is not um, critical. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll make more.